In some of the big cities, Chicago, New York, you know, people are intelligent. They see through all the baloney. But in some of these other cities, they, they, it seems like there's a little more uh, misconceptions. There's mm -hmm. a little more confusion. So another term, okay, we cleared up jihad. Another one, sharia. And this is, I compare it to, like, the boogeyman's coming to get you. And they're starting to pass laws that, you know, you can't have sharia here. And this and that uh, define for us. Sharia, what it is and what it's all about, and did Moses and Jesus teach Sharia? Hmm. Now, earlier we did touch on Sharia, what it meant. It was a way to leading to God's pleasure, yeah. and that all the prophets did have a Sharia way, a codified law. But, but Sharia in Islam, if, if we want to kind of give it a synopsis, what is the, the ultimate goals of the Sharia in Islam? The ultimate goals of the Sharia in Islam are to see that society lives a just and righteous life before God, to see that everyone is afforded their proper rights. No one goes hungry. No one goes without food. No one goes without shelter. No one goes without their daily expenses of life that necessitates them to be able to, to be a productive human being. And, and all of these things are within the Sharia. And I've done many lectures where I've asked people, would you like a law that is codified to give every human be being their rights and it needs no amendments, it needs no adjustments that make sure there's no racism, that make sure there's no oppression, there's no sexism, there's, there, there's, there's no prostitution, there's no gambling where people are getting, you know, stealing other people's money, there's no interest-based system where people, the rich, are continually to get rich off the backs of the poor, all of these good things and, and most people are like, yes, this is a very good system. I said, this is the Sharia. This is the Sharia. This comes to seek about this means to bring society to the closest it can get to a utopia because it is designed by the Creator itself. This is not a law that Muhammad, peace be upon him, made up. This is not a law that scholars make up. No, this is a law designed by the Creator of human beings. If He designed them, put them on this earth to worship Him, therefore He must, according to logic and according to justice, design a system for them to accomplish that goal. And this is the Sharia. And to, for people to say that the Sharia is something that you should be afraid of, we have to ask them, okay, well then what is it that you're afraid of about the Sharia? Is it you're afraid that the system of tyranny and the economics, uh, rich getting rich off the poor, are you afraid that the Sharia will bring an end to that? Are you afraid that Sharia will bring an end to the drug problem in America or in the West, uh, of the prostitution problem, of the gambling problem, of the homelessness? If that's what you're afraid of, then yes, the Sharia comes to, that is something you should be afraid of. But if someone is a justice-loving, freedom-loving individual, then the idea of a Sharia law, of a God-made system, should be a welcome ideology to them. And many like-minded people of many faiths who have looked at the Sharia in an unbiased way have come out publicly and stated that this is a good system and that if it were to be implemented, it would not bring about any type of tyranny or oppression. It would be a good system.